Welcome to ADHD Power Tools, where we give you the tools to unlock the power within. Hello, Brooke. Today, I want to talk to you about creativity. Now, a lot might say, a lot do say that uh, one of the superpowers of having ADHD is creativity. And I want to ask you, what are some tools we can use to harness these creativity and um, actually create and execute our creativity? Awesome. Great question. Mm -hmm. So some of the most famous people out there in the world today um, are creatives and they have ADHD. Like Albert Einstein was suspected to have ADHD. Michael Jordan, President George Bush, Simone Biles, famous mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. um, Shakira has ADHD. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shakira. Um, and, and Richard Branson. Richard Branson, Michelle Rodriguez, Justin Timberlake, Michael yep. Bell. So created um, outlets for people with ADHD. All right. So here goes it. This is my personal opinion and thought process. So if you're creative and that is your job and that is your life's purpose, then go for it. If you want to spend all of your time being creative and thinking about these creative ideas and you want to devote 100% of your time, do it. I have a very close friend who is a painter, uh, an artist, and he does phenomenal work. I bought three of his paintings. He is just everywhere at this point. And he spends 24 seven painting, mm -hmm. creative, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. His mind does not stop working, but that's what he has dedicated his life to. Exactly. Um, and you that's got, people. Yeah, you got to put the time in, and I want to give a good example. Um, this is a really cool story I have since, um, uh, from the age of 14 years old, um, I, I was big on uh, Instagram. I had 155,000 followers. Now I'm going to rewind a little bit and tell you the story about it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I started off um, by seeing this uh, Instagram account who would do designs on Photoshop for uh, soccer players, photos of soccer players. And I was big on soccer. You know, I'm from Lebanon. And that's the big sport over there. And I just came, uh, just came back from Lebanon freshman year of high school. And I was bored out of my mind because there was a new world, you know, and, uh, I, all my friends were back in Lebanon and I had so much time on my hands and I would go on Instagram and see these accounts adding um, photos of soccer players. I figured out how they do it on my phone with some, you know, cool editing apps and Photoshop and I got into it. And, you know, I do with contact and direct message, uh, many um, other uh, soccer accounts uh, who have a lot more followers than me and I'd start editing photos for them. Now, the thing is, I spent all my time on this and uh, all my, you know, creativity was mainly on this. And I put so, I put, yeah, put, yeah, exactly. And I put a lot of other things aside, like my studies, finding friends, et cetera. But I did end up finding a friend or two and they became my team, for example, to help me execute all this. I would send them every edit, every idea, and they would help me along the way. And then eventually, you know, one year later, I'm at 30,000 followers and I came up with another cool idea with this comedic Instagram account for soccer as well. And it blew up. Millions of followers um, started, million, million follower accounts started posting my content. And um, I reached 155,000 followers after six months. And I owe it to um, working as a team with my friends who helped me. People are going to hire you after listening to this. Drop a <laughs> degree and build up everyone's Instagram page. Exactly, exactly. And um, yeah, that's the thing. It's uh, I owe it to all the time I put into it, putting all your time into that creativity. That on you can, and it could be drawing, it could be editing videos, it could be entrepreneurship, it could be anything. And make sure you write down your ideas. Make sure, it, even saying them on a little voice memo app on your phone, make sure you secure these ideas and bounce it back and forth with your team, whether it's your employees, your colleagues, your friends, your family, and um, come out with like, you know, an execution or action plan um, to, uh, to turn these create, creations into reality, basically. And that's, that's right there is a good idea. And for those who are curious, I ended up selling the account 
because I wanted more of a social life and go out there. I started getting more friends. They had no more time. I they didn't want digital distractions in your yeah, life. Anymore. That's yeah. That's exactly what it was. I spent too much time on it, and I was young, you know. And um, but that right there is an example of uh, how you can how us ADHDers are so creative. You know, when we have that little idea, we can run with it and go and blow it up for sure. Yeah, but also to a detriment, right? I like how you said. Um, speak with your friends, close colleagues who become like the managers, the COOs, people that you can talk to and really farm through your ideas because mm -hmm. many of us ADHDers always have these creative, shiny, bright new ideas, especially mm -hmm. once we're entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with all them? You can't do everything at once, everything that pops into your brain or can you? So for those who have all these different ideas, but you're working on something, mm -hmm. you, you talk about the ideas, right? And you farm it and you really get it focused. Um, and exactly. then you put it like on a Trello board or an Asana board for, um, you know, creative ideas from six months from now or something like that while you're focusing on whatever mm -hmm. it is that you set your goals for. Mm -hmm, exactly. You know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, but at the same time, you need to filter out those uh, shots you want to take. And that's why. Are we going back to soccer again? <laughs> now I'm going to be laser focused on all of your soccer puns. Oh, goodness. No, see, that right there wasn't necessarily soccer, but that was a good soccer pun. And um, yeah, you know, um, filter out those uh, little shots to turn them into goals. <laughs> But yeah, it's good to have that team and move forward. And, um, and uh, you know, like you said, the CEO, the CEO, the CFO, all that little, you know, and, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll help you out, filter out all these ideas and you have to keep going and uh, put the time into it. Even the smallest thing it, w it would be to, you know, um, turn that creation into reality. Um, put that time into it. Simple as that. Yeah. With that being said, know your priorities. And that is also talking that with other people. So I actually just got out of a presentation I did for um, another ADHD community and uh, lots of ADHD creatives in there. And they were asking, what do you do? How do you get out of your hyper-focus mode? How do you get out of your flow state? How do you get out of your creative mode? I said, it's really, really hard. So knowing when you get into that mode is super important. So this way you can monitor it. So if you know that you have endless amount of time on a Saturday or on a Sunday to get into that creative mode, use those types of days, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or, and know what triggers it, you know, know what triggers that and uh, when to use that trigger to get into that mode. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly.